Hello, I am Fury Cat, and welcome back to our RimWorld Let's Play, our Tribal Royalty run. So, in our last episode, we uh, we dealt with uh, a bit of a raid and uh, <laughs> a pile of exploding boom loops to make life that little bit more interesting for us. Um, we've continued our work on our base. We're kind of working on our kitchen area here at the moment. Uh, hopefully that'll get done soon. Then we need to think about what we're doing for brewing and research and you know there, there there's a never-ending supply of uh of work needs to be done but we are getting there and uh, now let's see what do we need to do straight away i think we'll speed time up a little bit um barracuda's cutting stone blocks there it's good yeah there you go nat's hard at work now we need to move this door because we're going to need to put shelving shelving in here and of course this is all going to be sterile materials uh, I'm hoping there's enough grazing out here for our our various animals. Because we're a little bit out of rice. Hmm. Bad, yeah, I can't know, grow bad seasonal temperature. Yeah, the temperature's getting too low for us to really count on getting anything else grown. We're going to have to make it through on what we've got here. Now, if needs be, we can shuffle potatoes. Potato. Oh, these eggs might actually get. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. These are all unfertilized. I mean, I was hoping they might become fertilized. Come on, duck boys, get in there. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we may have to give over our potatoes and potentially our corn to keeping our animals alive through the winter. But that's okay. We've got. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, we've got an excellent stock of meals, but that apparently is not true at the moment. Okay, well, it's fine. We're working away. Scorpion hard at work chopping up things. We've got plenty of meat. Oh, are you as pregnant? Isn't that nice? Yeah, I'm thinking there's probably not a lot of great grazing out here. Let's look at some of our uh, animals and see... They are getting food, it looks like. Where's our... Uh, I keep going to wildlife rather than animals. Where's our ducks? Let's have a look at some of our ducks. How are you, how are you doing, ducks? I mean, you've eaten semi recently, so I guess there is still grazing to be had out here for now. How long that will continue to be the case as... Uh, winter... settles in. I'm not entirely certain, however, but hey. Oh, scorpion's making wart. That's good. And what's he off to do? He's butchering. Apparently there's dead things down here and he's going to go get one and butcher. I mean, sure, you do, you do, you bud. I think we've actually done all of our... Oh no, we've still got a, a lot of hops. Yeah, we might want to get some work going on that. Oh, mechanoid. Oh, goodness, a mechanoid cluster. Mechanoid combat clusters landing nearby. A cluster will be initially dormant, so you can take time to decide how to attack it. It may remain dormant until disturbed, or it may have a timer or proximity activators. Even dormant mech clusters aren't harmless. A dormant cluster may assemble mechanoid attackers from time to time, or have some broader negative effect that must be dealt with. Oh, great. So, let oh, good grief, look at all this. So what have we got here? We've got a psychic droner. Well, that's lovely. A proximity activator. We're all behind these steel walls though. There's a mini slugger turret, mini slugger turret, auto charge turret, and a mech high shield, which intercepts aerial projectiles, so we can't just shell it. And then we've got a centipede with a heavy charge blaster, an auto inferno turret, and two pikemen. Lovely. Um, well, it looks like it's proximity detected, but this psychic droner is going to be a problem for us, I suspect. Um, it's down here. Arr. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going to be the best way to attack that. Uh, we've got undignified stuff everywhere. Well... Slightly impressive. It's dirty and ugly. We need to do some more work in here, clearly. 
Hey, actually, that's a good point. We're ripping a floor out up here that we're going to replace. We can maybe do the same here and replace with marble floor. Might potentially help. Uh, psychic drone or medium mail. That's not good. Let's have a look. Oh, good grief. Minus 22. Yeah, we, we can't leave this around. I'm not entirely certain that we're active, actually equipped to attack this, though. That Inferno turret is going to be a problem. I mean, these ones are behind a wall. I'm not too concerned about the turrets in here, but... This is out in the open, and these are out in the open. And that heavy charge blaster, that can take limbs off. Um, right. Okay. <laughs> this, 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 this could be a problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna how we're gonna handle that. But we're probably gonna need to do so reasonably soon. And you guys are going and hunting things out here. That's fine. Oh, good grief, Dane! Don't walk past the murder ball. Honestly, man. Okay, you, you hunt over there, that's that's fine. You're constructing there. This has been done, so let's queue up a floor for in here. Um, marble. That's, that's got to do something for the impressiveness, right? Uh, how are we on marble, actually? Oh yeah, we've got like, all the marble in the world. Oh dear. Oh, actually, no, I know how we deal with this. I know exactly how we deal with this. In fact, yeah, let's let's go ahead and... Okay, hold up. Let's go ahead and deal with this. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm not holding down shift like I thought there. Right, let's get all you guys. Draft mass here. What we're going to do is we're going to use Galga's Collade. Or is our op we can call an aerodrone strike. This will cost four armor. That might still be worth doing. So I think we call an aerodrone strike and then we send in the guys. Right, okay. Uh, let's let's figure this out. How are we going to want to do this? I'm going to make use of the cover that we've got out here. So, um, Scorpion, you're unarmed, so you're just going to chill here in case anyone needs rescue. We're going to pull Galga out here. Uh, who's got the bolt action rifle? You can probably hit from back here. Put you on the other side. And you can go back in here. Okay. Dane and Nat. I have no idea what to do with you guys. Put your standbys along with the Meliers. Let's move the Meliers in there, that's probably safe. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to call an aerodrone strike in right... There. Nice. Then we're going to call for a uh, trooper squad. We're going to deploy kind of... Yeah, here in the trees is probably good. Okay. Rock and roll. We're going to let them largely deal with this. Colin engaging? Yes, he is. Good. But we're largely going to let them deal with this. We may need to get our guys with the heavy SMGs to move in and actually put some fire in. Ah! Kevin, let's get back. Oh God, how badly hurt is he? He is quite badly hurt. Shoot that. Take out the psychic thing. You two continue to target... That thing. Why 
when you guys take that out. I mean, they're damaging it. <laughs> We're using all of our Imperial favor to do this work for us so that we don't have to get grief. This thing just won't die. It is badly injured. There we go. We've got it. Gaga. Can you put fire on that? I don't even know what that is. That's the high shield gesture. Take that out. That's going to explode. Good. Dane, pull back. You're hurt. Uh, in fact, we'll let Cabanas report to the infirmary. Both of you guys should. Oh, no. Dane's down. Okay. Um, Scorpion. Rescue Dane. How bad's Cabanas? He's going to be okay. Dane, how bad are you? You're not so good. What have we got left? Have we done it? Have we taken it all out? Yes. Whew. Okay. We'll release... All of these, I don't think any of our aid that we called in actually survived. <laughs> I think they're all, you know, one down, two down, three down. Yeah, I think three down. Um, Colin, can you rescue this guy? Okay. Well, that was exciting. That was extremely exciting. I suppose we'll take their corpses and dispose of them. Uh, and then we can probably claim basically all of that. And then we're going to deconstruct all of that. Okay, there we go. Well, it wasn't that exciting. Cabanas is right, right. Who's our uh, uh, medics? Parish. What are you trying to do? You're training Neo. No, you're not. You're going to come and tend to Cabanas. Who's our other one? Colin. You're already rescuing this guy. Great. What happened there? Mar Marcos died. Okay, well, that's fine. Colin, I'm going to need you to. Head for here, because I'm going to need you on hand to trade Dane as soon as he gets there. Whew. I don't think we could have done that without the Imper the two pieces of Imperial aid. That was, like, absolutely essential. Uh, I'm hoping Dane's going to survive here. Okay, so you're... Well, Colin, no, I need you to tend to Dane. No, why are you not tending to Dane? Oh, because you're drafted. Uh, yeah, you're already going to treat him. Brilliant. Uh, Scorpion, I'm going to undraft you, but I'm going to ask you to prioritize cleaning up in here. Because we minimize our infection chance. Come on, clear it all. There you go. There you go. Okay, there we go. That, that takes care of that. And I think probably Dane is going to live. Yep, he's looking good. Nothing too horribly maimed, Cabanas. Yeah, you're okay. You're going to live. Great. That's what I like to see. Uh, Colin, once you're done with what you're doing... Okay, I guess I can't get you to clean anymore. Excellent. Okay, right. Well, we've dealt with this issue down here. Uh, we do have shred mechanoids forever. Good. What a bit of excitement. Uh, we're doing some cleaning up work in here. Uh, now, what we're also going to need to do in here is build... 
steel door there. And a slate wall there. And for flooring, I'm going to need you to do a little bit of slate tiling there. Brilliant. There we go. Now, nobody's imminently going to die. Their mechanoids have been dealt with. Uh, Beaver is watching TV. Good. You enjoy. Is Colin going to join him? Colin is going to join him. Look at that. We should probably build more couches there. And those, uh, what we got? Plain leather. I'm guessing those are plain leather. Yeah, plain leather armchairs. Let's build a couple more of them, shall we? Um, yeah, plain leather armchairs. We can probably get at least one more in there. What's the viewing area like for this? Yeah, we can probably construct on either side as well. There you go. Nope, oh, out of power. That's a bit of a shame. <clears throat> yeah, right. Let me have a think. Got all of our construction work underway. That we need to at the moment. We need to do something more about the throne room. It's not grand enough for Galga's tastes, so clearly we're gonna to need to fix that. Otherwise she'll be unhappy, and more importantly, we can't conduct her uh, her ceremony, because it's not not a suitable throne room for uh, a lady of her uh, her high high tastes, clearly. We might also want to get a trade caravan on the go, actually, since we've got quite a lot of kind of just crap that we've accumulated in our storeroom, and it would be nice to free some space up in there. So maybe we'll send some trade caravan off with um, a few uh, a few of those weapons to get rid of. Uh, so yeah, that might not be a terrible plan. Why don't we do that in the morning once everybody wakes up? So in fact, we'll go ahead and. Um, Speed time up a little bit there. And once everybody wakes up, we'll see about arranging uh, a caravan to go off. Because hopefully, you know, we'll get a little bit of a lull now that we've just dealt with the mechanoid cluster. I'm kind of hoping that means we'll get a little bit of uh, respite. Certainly long enough for us to send a trade caravan off. Hmm. Surprised that, no, oh, mind you, it is quite dirty in there. I mean, oh, we're having power problems. Uh, hmm. Our batteries are basically depleted. I think we're probably consuming more power than we're really, yeah. Than we're really generating right now, even with our magic van vanometric power cell. <clears throat> We may want to look at building our um, power room out a little bit more. I mean, this is due for deconstruction and reconstruction anyway. So... Probably need to re Do we really need a hoopstone ring these days? I don't think we need... We don't really need a hoopstone ring any these days. We've got, like, you know, television and the game of Ur and... All that, because if we may want to restructure how the television room's laid out, thinking about it, though, because I might want to put a pool table in here as well. Or a poker table. That could be good. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay. All right, everybody's waking up. Let's wait for people to have their morning meal. We are getting low on food again. That's a bit of a problem. Uh... I guess we're probably going to want to have to cook fine. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to have to add Bill. Uh, cook fine meals. Um, bring the ingredient radius down a bit. We probably want to scroll this way a bit so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Uh, actually, that looks pretty good, yeah. Far enough over on this side. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. 
Uh, we're going to do forever. Because, yeah, we're getting low on meals. In fact, we're Scorpion. What are you doing right now? You're going for a, oh, we're at power again. God damn it. There's no wind, is the problem. Okay, we're going to toggle power off on the second one for now. Uh, EMI field for pay. Let's, just, let's have a look. Act like the Imperial Moon wants to perform a low power test on our ship's area attack weapons. If she does, a distant EMI dynamo will blast Kitty down with an EMI field, shutting down electrical devices for 6.2 days. Eh, uh, no. <laughs> no. I think not. Okay, this is looking reasonably good. Once you're done there, could you quickly clean all that up? Thank you. Okay, there we go. We're going to want chairs in here. Um, so I'm sure we'll construct a couple of dining chairs. And then we're going to want shelving. Uh, which, sure, I guess can be wooden. Oops. Nope. Cancel. That. Masterwork. Masterwork dining chair. Well, look at that. For you to sit in while you're <laughs> cooking. Awesome. We really need to get our food situation under control. Scorpio, what are you currently doing? You are cooking a fine meal. Good. That's that's exactly what I need you to be doing. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, Cal? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No weapons here. So these are going to be critical. Uh, we're going to store. So this one can be... Uh, nothing at the moment, actually. Because this one applies to there. This is going to be... No weapons, it's fine. This guy here is gonna be no weapons, importance, critical, raw food, you can be meat. Uh, and animal products. For, uh, but not that stuff, we're just milk at the moment because we don't want to be using. And then this is going to be uh, vegetarian. Air. The weapons. Critical. There we go. Sorted. Oh, and that was the other thing we want to do with this is that when you cook it, you want to just drop it on the floor. That's our hauler's job. Problem with letting the animals in here, though. We may want to try and exclude the animals from doing the hauling in here. I mean, they are helpful, but they do make it dirtier. Uh, who's our priority cleaner? Avanas, who's recovering. And Dane, who's recovering. Uh, but it's fine. Scorpion's cooking away there, so that's going to keep things going. A touch and go here at the moment, actually. Food. We really need to get on top of that. Our, uh, our our food supply did not last as long as I thought it might with the uh, the kitchen restructuring, but it's that's fine. It's fine. We're we're we're, we're taking care of it now. Uh, oh, that's probably why we're using so much power. So we'll turn you off. Oh, could you? Uh, quickly take care of that for me thank you okay we've done this where are we gonna stick our what are we doing with brewing 
Hmm. I think this needs to be extended. So, um, are we done with marble throwing? We are done. How's the impressiveness there? 57, slightly impressive. It's slightly dirty as well. Okay. So this needs to be done next, I think. Uh, oh, let's take the floor up in there. New floor. Yep. Bye. Nope, I missed a bit. Then we'll refloor that with uh, something a little bit more impressive. Ah, we're still having some power issues. No wind. And yeah, the power generation just can't keep up with what we are asking of it. The scorpion has resorted to brewing since... Uh, I mean, that makes sense. He can't cook because we're out of power. The downside to electric stoves. Yeah, we're going to need to up our power generation, definitely. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. So, how, what are we going to do with our power room? This goes through there. I wonder if we could just tack the power room on here. That's a reasonable area. It's already cabled in. Uh, and if I have a look at the power, so the power's run through the wall there. Which means we could have a row of batteries along here that are isolated and we could get a couple of generators. Or the batteries could actually even be down this back back area here. Yeah, okay. But I think the, I think this is going to be our power room next to the kitchen then. Uh, so slate wall is going to come like so. And we're going to need a steel door, which can go there. And we're going to build a copy of you. There. And we need more steel, of course we do. We always need more steel. So, um, mine more steel. That's already queued for mining. Any more steel inside the base that we can get at? There's a couple of bits there. Uh, more I'm up here. A little, uh, there's little bits up here, but eh, I don't really want to mess with that just now. Well, we'll see how far this vein here takes us. Yeah, we're short on steel again. Cabinass is healed. Hooray! Uh, and isn't he our miner? He is our miner, but he's frantically cleaning the base. We just need somebody to just... More people whose job it is is just to clean and haul. We may be looking at one of you. Didn't we blow a chunk off one of you? I think it was this guy. Yeah, we shot his left eye out. So... Um, okay, we're not taking you over. You, you're actually pretty good. You're pretty good at shooting construction. You've got some skill in mining. He's a cannibal, or she is a cannibal, I should say. So you know, not terrible. Okay, okay. Let's try and recruit you then. Uh, that's built. Just needs fueled. Um, oh. Let me get to take you. It looks like Barracuda is on the task. Right, there we go. That starts to give our... Uh, now, can we relocate this? No, we're going to have to build... We're going to have to deconstruct it and build another one. Well, that's just great. Well, in that case, we may as well get the extra copy in now. And it's getting really dirty in there. Hey, Kevin, I've got a job for you. Need you to come in here and clean. He's watching television. Well, no. You just cover clean. Thank you. Oh, and somebody made a mess again already. <laughs> gonna be a never-ending chore. The Barracuda's working on that. That's good. We're still gonna need more steel. Gogol's hard at work on that, though, which is nice to see. These are just unfertilized. I think they were ones that have become frozen, so I don't know what's going to happen with them. 
And, you know, maybe one of the carnivores will eat it. I don't know. Okay, we're getting that built. That's excellent. Once that's been fueled, which I'm going to go ahead and just ask Beaver to do real quick. Then we can reinstall this guy. There. And then we can start transferring our batteries across. Okay, we're, we're getting things under control here. Okay, that's about the half hour mark, so... Uh, other than the excitement of the mech cluster, we've mostly... Oh, a war merchant has come by. Well, how about that? Uh, we're going to go ahead and let, leave them for the next uh, the next uh, episode. But yeah, other than the excitement of the mech cluster, we've been kind of finalizing some of the construction in our base. We're getting close to, you know, being done, which is astonishing with the kind of major reconstruction. I'm sure we'll find other construction projects to do. I mean, aside from anything else, I think I'm going to start putting little turret emplacements up around the inside of the walls just to deal with the, you know, endless sappers we appear to. Uh, have to deal with. That's a good point. There's a missing door right there. We should probably rectify. Um, but yeah, as always, if you have enjoyed watching this, please do think about giving it a like. It really helps the channel grow and is much appreciated. And if you have been enjoying following along with this or maybe one of my other Let's Plays, then maybe think about giving the channel a subscribe. And of course, do remember to hit the bell icon because I guess, I guess subscribing on its own isn't enough these days. Um, but yeah, and as always, I will see you next time.